I'm Anna. I live at home and have a job as an office worker. I have two older brothers, a father, and a mother. The five of us live together. It was crowded enough at home as it was, but recently a new troublemaker joined us. The younger of my older brothers, Kenny's wife, Nicole. Hey, y'all! Uh, hi. Even though our house was already overcrowded, as soon as she married Kenny, Nicole assumed that my parents needed care without even consulting our family and started living with us. Honestly, if it was just one extra person, I could accept that, especially if it was a new family member. But it made me uneasy to see how she was rummaging through our things like she owned the place, just after a few months. What a childish accessory. I'm just going to get rid of it. Hey, hold on. That's an important ring that my boyfriend gave me. Ah! She would go through my things, claiming that she was cleaning up. Basically, she acted like she owned everything in the house. Hmm, this must be Anna's. Looks expensive, but she won't know if I use some. But although she wasn't very good at it, she did try to help out around the house. So we didn't treat her like a nuisance or anything. La 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 la. Mom just finished vacuuming there. But there was one thing I just absolutely wasn't cool with. Good morning, everyone. This is my oldest brother, Spencer. He works from home and is mostly crammed in his room working. He was a very nice brother and I loved him dearly. However... Oh, did you just wake up, Spencer? Must be nice not to have to work a real job. Hey, Nicole, Spencer was working late in his room last night. He pays rent and he's definitely not unemployed. Whatever. Nicole just had decided at some point that Spencer was unemployed and treated him badly for it. Tell her, Kenny. Tell her that Spencer isn't unemployed. No, Nicole is right. What? He's older than me and he hasn't even gotten married yet and he still lives at home. You should be more independent like me, Spencer. I'm just worried about mom and dad. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. So you see, not only Nicole, but my brother Kenny also looks down on Spencer. One such day, something happened. Spencer was out for work, and the rest of us were eating dinner at home. Finally, I'm done with work. Huh? Is there food for me? Oh, you're right! It was your turn to make dinner tonight, right, Nicole? Where's Spencer's plate? Huh? There isn't any food for Spencer. What? Haven't you heard? He who does not work, neither shall he eat. No food for people who just sit in their rooms playing games all day. What? That's enough. How many times do I have to tell you? Spencer works from home. Well, that's easy to say. Why don't you go buy a TV dinner or something? I'll even pay for it. Nicole, what Anna says is true. Don't treat Spencer like that. That's right, you all. Be nice to each other. Mom, Dad, you two are too nice to Spencer. He's spoiled. What? You guys are responsible for him sitting in his room without a real job all day, right? Why don't you guys just kick him out of the house? Once he's out in the real world by himself, he'll see the value of having a real job. Well, I'm not sure if Spencer would survive out there, though. Kenny, how dare you say that to Spencer? He may have just been trying to take Nicole's side, but I couldn't forgive him for how he was treating Spencer. I was ready to leave the house and say bye to Kenny for good, but me leaving wouldn't have changed the situation at all. That would just be one less person to hold Nicole back, and Spencer would just get it even worse. I was about to give up, but one day... I think I'll leave. What?! Spencer suddenly said he was leaving the house. Why so suddenly? Is it because of what Nicole said? This is your house too, Spencer. Don't let her bother you. No, it's not that. I've been preparing for a while now, and finally I'm ready. Oh, we'll miss you, dear. And... Nicole! We did it! Spencer's leaving the house! What? Really? Yeah, it's all thanks to you, Nicole. <laughs> you can count on me. Once Spencer is out of here, I'm sure Anna will leave too. Then we'll have two extra rooms that we can use. Yeah, then all we have to do is wait for your parents to die and this house will be ours. 
Yep, then we can just relax and enjoy the house. Oh, I can't wait for Spencer to get out of here. Huh? You didn't hear, Kenny? Mom, Dad, and I are all going with Spencer to his new house. What? You guys are just leaving me? Well, what about this house then? It's all yours, Kenny. We fixed it up a couple times, so there's the loan for that, though. Oh, no problem. I got a job. I can pay it off. Spencer bought all new furniture, too, so we'll leave everything for you, okay? Sweet! Pennies from heaven! I didn't expect to get to own this house so quickly. I'm so lucky! I don't know what kind of crappy apartment Spencer is moving into, but Mom and Dad must be idiots for following him. Here we are. This is our new home now. What? What? Wow, I just can't get over how nice it is. You can still smell the fresh paint, too. Wait, hold on. This is your new home, Spencer? I thought you were moving into a rundown apartment. What the hell is this? I can't believe you guys were hiding this new house from us. I mean, it's huge. <sighs> I can't believe you still think I'm some unemployed freeloader. Huh? Spencer is a super successful programmer, and Spencer built this house for us to live in as a family. Well, why didn't you tell me about it earlier? We told you like a million times that Spencer works from home. Um, isn't this house a little big for the four of you? We'd like to live here too, if you don't mind. <laughs> no. Uh, you didn't even think about it. This house is for my family. The way you guys treated me, I don't consider you my family, so you guys can live in our old house together. Whatever. Your house may be a little bigger, but I own that house now too, so ha! We don't need this house. Whatever you say, bro. Kenny and Nicole stomped away after that. I wonder if Kenny still plans to live in that house. Did you tell him about it, Spencer? Oh, I forgot. On purpose. <laughs> Hey, don't worry about it, Nicole. We got this house for pretty much free. That's a win. Yeah, you're right. Let's be more optimistic. This house is ours now, and no one's around to tell us what to do. Now that we have extra rooms, let's start making a family. And <laughs> Take it easy now. Huh? What the hell? I didn't notice because it's been painted over, but I think the house is pretty worn down. Yeah, well, this house has been passed down from my great-grandfather, so it must be like 80 years old by now. I know that they've been extra careful with it. Are you serious? Homes have a lifespan too, you know. Uh, we should save some money and do a full renovation. A full renovation? We don't have that kind of money. We might as well build a brand new house then. Oh... <sighs> Let's just go to sleep for now. I've been fixing up the house all day and I'm exhausted. Yeah, we're done with the bedroom at least, so let's get some sleep. Oh, what the hell is that noise? I heard that the neighbors are fixing up their house. What? It's so late already. Keep it down. I read a notice earlier saying that the construction is going to last another year. And Mom already agreed to it. Why did you even accept this broken down house without loan left? If I knew that you were living in such a crappy house, I never would have married you. What? You were the one that said you wanted to live in a house instead of an apartment. That's why I lived here in the first place. If it weren't for you, I'd be in that huge house right about now. I heard later that as soon as we moved out, Kenny and Nicole got divorced. He blamed it on all the noise, stress, and the old house, but who knows? We were planning on rebuilding the house anyways soon, so there must have been many problems. We found out even later that Nicole was having an affair at the time, too, with one of Kenny's good friends. So Kenny lost his wife and a close friend at the same time. But the type of guy who cheats with his friend's wife isn't a keeper, that's for sure. I hear she's being abused pretty badly by that guy. I'm sure she misses how nice we were to her right about now. Kenny lives all alone in that old house of ours now. Kenny seems lonely after he lost his friend and wife. He contacts me now and then, asking me to come over and spend the night. 
but I just ignore him because... Mmm, this stew is great. Thank you, dear. The kitchen is so big now, it's so fun to cook. I'm glad you like it, Mom. We're very grateful for you, son. Thanks, Spencer. After living in this nice house, who would want to go back there, right? <laughs>